my god, sixty dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> when you're the first to do something often, that's grounds enough to receive your accolades. Of course, if you're not black. To a lot of people, being the first is actually just being the best. And no matter what thing comes after it, what thing precedes it, it will never be better. We live in a world where we constantly call back to these first time achievements these people make. And that's not a bad thing, but to this little cute thing that we have called time, harder things get easier to do and we tend to do things better and faster. When it comes to basketball, say for instance, MJ is the GOAT, but LeBron's doing LeBron numbers. This doesn't mean that MJ is a bad player. He's still the GOAT for what he did for basketball. But that in itself isn't enough to made all the accolades that LeBron got during his career. As time progresses, we get more efficient. And because of that, the new things that are done or come out will just have an easier opportunity to be better. And they often are. Sometimes, no matter how far in the present we're in, the old just can't be outdone. See Avatar's Fire Nation Royal Family with lightning bending compared to the more toned down commodified version of lightning bending later on in the future. Or just, you know, Avatar the core because the, the show can't really be outdone. But to some people, being the first is just being the best. I'm not some people know. I think that's really stupid. And really, you should too. I'm gonna tell you why. Am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with the people around me? This tweet made me a little mad. Someone posted it saying they're glad they grew up with the OG Ninja Turtle show from the 80s and not the new one. Rise, specifically, Rise of the TMNT. Now, if you know me or you have been knowing me for like four plus years now, Jesus Christ. One of my most viewed videos from late 2020 was a four minute video that I made in a day making fun of people who were doing the same thing, but for sheer. It was a fun video that vindicated the right amount of people and pissed off the also right amount of people. Now, before I get into anything, let it be known. Obviously, there is nothing wrong with preferring a specific incarnation of a long running property, even if it's older. And there's nothing wrong with just preferring something you grew up with. I mean, I grew up with the best era of Power Rangers and I won't be taking any criticism whatsoever for that. And if you're a bottle of samurai, boy, do I have some homework for you. Talk to me only after you've watched like three of these. But when you are directly saying that an objectively less well-made version of something is better because you like it more, that don't really make sense. Everyone's always like, when will we learn? When will we finally fucking learn? Never actually. Actually, no matter how much nuance and productive thought is introduced in the conversation, we will always resort back to the stupid shit because new people will be put in the argument with the same silly, stupid argument. It's so silly and stupid, it makes me want to sit down in my new sponsored chair. Wait, what? Flexi spot, cool furniture, wow, awesome. In the quest for the ultimate comfort during those TV show marathon nights or while studying for exams, have you ever felt betrayed by your chair? That constant shovel or a comfy spot only to be met with aches and pains? It's not just an inconvenience, it's a barrier to our passions and productivity. Enter the scene stealer, the Flexi Spot C7, today's video sponsor. More than a chair, it's your partner in crime for tackling long hours without the usual complaints. The self adaptive, dynamic lumbar support that dances to tunes of your every move, ensuring your back's always cradled in comfort. But the Flexi Spot C7 7 doesn't just stop at supporting your back. It's like the ultimate life form for anyone glued to their desk. With its customizable fit, you can tweak it to your heart's desire. Height, weight, angle, leaning forward during those intense moments. The C7's got your back, quite literally, reducing pressure and keeping that fatigue at bay. With its just about adjustable everything, you can recline and rewind. Designed to be the perfect fit for a wide range of body types, supporting up to 300 pounds, and with options for mesh or foam, the C7 is the inclusive chair we've all been waiting for. And with the no strings attached, 30 day free return policy, and a 10 year warranty, it's a commitment free relationship. Though I wouldn't be too worried with commitment issues with a chair like this. The FlexiSpot C7 is here to change the game. Use code C730 for $30 off and transform not just how you sit, but how you engage in what you love. Hit that link in the description to see what's up. Listen, I'm just putting you on game. I'm just a messenger. It's a really nice chair. I'll be using this probably until I die. Flexi spot. Bye. Man, come on, man. Ah! Things like these are obviously made for engagement and charged with some sort of rage baby implication that grips to the whole modern cartoon bad, oh cartoon better argument. So when I saw that tweet, I went, wow, four years later, still still, still the same shit. Time is a flat circle. See, back then, while the argument was tired and dumb, there was some sort of reasoning in it. Now it's the, the, the take is just like flat out dead. The reason why these newer age modern cartoons and modern reboots of older cartoons were such a punching bag to these people was because there was an argument of quality, which was really an argument of preference. People looked at these softer, more round, and thinned outline cartoons from the 2010s and saw it as a lack of quality compared to the sharper, more action-oriented, and stylized cartoons of the early 2000s and mid to late 90s. And then we have the dumb fuck wall biters that think the 80s is part of this conversation in any way, shape, or form. This is a, like, ignorant, like, crash-out take. I pointed this out four years ago, but from an objective 
and quality standpoint, the cartoons from the 80s are just worse. See, back then I was being nice. I was like, hey guys, don't say that they're better. Nigga, I'm saying they're worse. I have the credentials. Nigga, I grew up watching Cubo. If you niggas don't know what Cubo is, don't even talk to me. That network aired like a shit ton of 80s cartoons that I watched just thinking they were just regular cartoons. I liked He-Man and She-Ra and, and, and Brave Star. Nobody remembers Brave Star at all. At least nobody my age, which makes sense. These cartoons were made to sell toys. If your rebuttal is that all cartoons were made to do that, literally everything is made to sell something. But these cartoons literally had toys made before the cartoons were even drawn. Don't be like Brave Star and debut your toy line 10 months before the show actually airs because kids won't know who the fuck they're supposed to be buying. If you didn't know, Transformers became a thing with the morphing of two different toy lines from the 80s. Said it multiple times before, but all of these niggas literally had the same body type and were palette swapped so they could reuse the same mold for different toys. From an artistic standpoint, that is lazy. From a business standpoint, that is genius. All these roided out He-Man and She-Ra characters look the same and they only existed to repeat the same buff guy and athletic looking girl toy template. These cartoons weren't even about shit. They were like episodic as fuck with some continuity, but not enough to confuse the kids that were tearing and licking the lead infused paint off the walls. It just don't make sense. You riding at dawn for a 20 minute toy commercial. These are toy cartoons. That's what people call them. They legally had to add those PSAs we always make fun of because you'd see a cartoon which was a giant advertisement for the toys and then a commercial for the toys and then the cartoon again and then the commercials again rinse and repeat until you went to sleep oh but bring this era back right bring this era back bring back the era where the only difference between the four turtles were their colored bandanas and their, the fucking belt buckles every ninja turtle cartoon since the og has made cool and distinct ways of showing the differences in design between the turtles i like that in rise they have drastically different body types i like that in the 2003 show they all have different skin tones i like that in the 2012 they got different eye colors and head shapes i like literally everything about the new movie like the fact that they act like immature teenage kids like actually there's so much to like about every incarnation of the show especially the one i grew up with but people choose to just like you know take the take a screenshot from the show you never watch and just be like man i'm so glad i grew up with old thing old thing better new thing bad and that only makes sense when you compare something like say steven universe to like ben 10 like of course ben 10 looks more complicated than niggas the modern cartoons of the late 2010s all had a distinct look to them and pointing out that every era had a distinct style to them too also made people mad and the 80s has a distinct style it just mostly looks like shit i hurt my wrist like forever ago y'all can't hear this shit but like it's cracking like every time i move this shit really weird that all these cartoons had the same clear copy paste plot that involved the liberation of an alien planet and enslavement and stuff oh what there was a show called black star that inspired he-man and the main character was supposed to be black but uh they said they weren't ready for a black character yeah fuck the 80s the 80s cartoons just cannot be part of this conversation considering that they were like barrel of the bin quality they literally only existed to sell toys and thank god they existed because we got cooler shit from them and don't get me wrong i'm gonna pay my respects regardless without the first iterations of any of these cartoons transformers my little pony ninja turtles fucking voltron the new stuff that i like so much wouldn't exist side note i don't know if you've seen on twitter but i'm having a weird sort of hyper fixation with my little pony it's not on no brony shit like it's, it's not like that without voltron 84 we would not have these guys i just hope that when i turn 40 and power rangers as a brand is uh conveniently not dead yet and we got power rangers aqua force or some shit that i'm not like oh man back in my day the shit was better and i'm just like oh you know i like my old stuff that's it i'm normal keeping it a buck you don't even have to like rise just don't pretend that the thing became before it is superior on a technical level just because it came first because that you, you, you sound stupid i don't really pretend that they have bad character design they just look worse uh across the board on a technical level no amount of yapping from any of you fake internet tough ad larpers will change that remember to use code c730 for 30 dollars off your 400 dollars plus purchase on a c7 if not you just won't have a cool chair like me and that's fine pop on my dick and put that vhs tape in and buy a funko pop nigga leave it at that you could also buy my merch or follow me on twitch follow the gram too nothing only follow on the gram i'm posting fire pics bro like look at these